Hey YouTube, Sai here, and on today's video, we're going to be looking at two very good builds for Boot Hilt, the Break build and a Critical build. Both builds will implement Break. The difference between a Break build is that you're focusing more on the Break effect stat and the Speed stat, while the Critical build will be focusing on Break, Speed, Critical Rate, and Critical Damage. It means that the Critical build is a much higher um, stat threshold because you're looking for four stats. While the break build, you're only looking for two primarily. Now, we're going to be looking at this on the creator experience server. There may be a couple of changes um, on the official release compared to right now when we're looking at it. But if there's any, there might be very, very small changes. Now, with both builds, they both have their benefits and their negatives. With the break build, it's much easier to build. You don't have to stress out trying to get perfect gear because you're not really focused on four different stats. Now, the issue here is that in terms of your auto damage, you do lose a little bit of damage because you're not, you're not critting every hit and the crits you do aren't gonna do the same amount of damage as your critical build. While the critical build issue is that it's very, very hard to hit speed thresholds, critical thresholds, and break thresholds. So you, you require very high end gear, which is a good thing and a bad thing as you want it to be too not too hard to build him, but you also want it to not, you know, spend 10 years farming uh, the same domain, right? Now, the way I have this set up is that at the end of each wave, meaning when all enemies die, I have it so you'll see the damage spread between each build. So just skip to that if that's what you really care for. Um, if you want to see the like the full like setup, go ahead. But I do know some people just want to see numbers. Um, I got this comment on the video before, so I decided to implement it. It doesn't look too clean. Um, I'm still in the works of figuring out what's the best layout for it. But for now, um, I'll have it like this until I figure out a better way. Maybe I'll have like a spreadsheet or um, something like that. Cause I So I calculated all the damage that was dealt by Boot Hill on Google Spreadsheet, but I wanted to make it a little bit more presentable. So. Uh, we'll figure that out. Um, I don't know if I should label each damage instance. I don't know if people want to know like, oh, this was the basic attack um, and this was the ultimate attack. I do have it where I put the damage over time from the break itself in there. But if people want me to like break it down a little bit more, let me know. I'm still figuring this out. I haven't done the type of video in a minute. So I'm taking any type of feedback you may have. Uh, I, I do appreciate it just so I can make better content, right? Now, another thing I'm looking at here is that with both builds, a big thing comes down to your light cone. When it comes to the signature light cone, you can see that the critical build definitely keeps up and most of the time does more damage than the break build. I do make a couple of play errors where I, like, I don't have a certain buff up. For example, uh, Ruan Mei, I think uh, on the break build side, it got more hits, so she got her her ultimate faster while on the right side, the critical build, she got less hits. So she took more, um, she took less damage. So she didn't get her ultimate quick enough. Um, that I did calculate that in there as well. So I, I put like asterisk on the side on those attacks that it wasn't like fully fair comparison on both sides, right? So if you see like a little star in the top right corner, that means that that is um, not a fair indication of both builds, right? Everything else is fair, but the ones with the star in it, the, it's it's not fair. So don't you don't cite those as a uh, a good comparison. One thing we do notice here is that the break build does clear quicker. Um, I think it was more due to my play than anything. The biggest issue being that I did miss a couple buffs on Ron May. So I think that was the biggest issue. Other than that, the critical build per instance does more damage. You can see in the breakdown that the right side is doing more damage each instance when it comes to the break attacks, the um, even even the break damage because of the critical hits. It does more damage overall, but I did clear quicker on the break build. We'll chalk that up to player skill issue. Now, I decided to do two runs. One run will be a run with his signature light cone, and then the next one will be a four-star light cone run because 
you don't get the break effect from the signature light cone so i was just curious to see how it would perform when you don't have the additional stats now with both builds i also wanted to go a more free-to-play team so this second half is going to be more free-to-play variant where we're going to use gallagher um the harmony unit trailblazer and then asha I was thinking about using Branya, but I used Branya before, so I didn't feel like it was worth to run her again. So this time, I'd like let's use um, Asta instead. Gallagher has actually been a pretty decent um, unit for this team. I thought he wouldn't be that great, honestly, because I never really used him prior to um, Boot Hill. But he does well. He does great um, as long as the enemies are fire weakness. He does really good. I wouldn't really use some outside of fire weakness, but um, if the enemies are fire weakness, he can help break the enemies quicker. So he's not a bad option and he does heal too. So if you need a healer, it's not too bad. Now you may notice on boot hill, I'm not using the ultimate. I only really use the ultimate if the enemy loses the physical uh, weakness because I'm running subscribe is more where subscribe is more gives you more auto damage when you have a max ultimate. Um, I think it's basic attack and skill, but most of Boo Hill's damage is going to come from his basic attack, whether it's the break attack, the, the break damage, or it's just the auto damage itself. So that's why I'm not using his ultimate on cooldown. I do use it um, eventually to apply it to the, the little uh, Tyrannosaurus looking thing, but uh, I don't use it that often because I, I want to make sure I'm near at, I'm at full ultimate most of the time. Fun fact, this is the first time I've used Asta in quite a very long time. I ended up dropping her thanks to Ron May. Um, then Sparkle came out and Robin came out. So I haven't really used Asta in a very long time. So it's been fun. Asta was like one of my most used units for a very long time period. But, you know, power creep happens. So new units keep coming out and then she kind of fell off. She's still not a bad unit by any means. And she does really good on these break teams. If you don't have like uh the premier op the premier options like Rome. now i only did one wave with the free to play team you, you're gonna see why in, in quite a second um you may notice that the break build cleared so much faster it's not even close which is why i was like there's no point the break build is definitely what you want to go for a free to play team um it's too hard to build critical but i'll hit like him you can see that the damage is just not there. It's not even, it's not even close. I think I got, I think I've got two extra turns in on the um, critical build to kill. And I had pretty much all the buffs up at all times. So it was not even remotely close, unfortunately. I think the biggest issue is because you don't get the speed. So the speed tuning can be quite an issue. And then the second issue is that you don't get the break effect. So you can't, it's really hard to hit the 300, even with Trailblazer. But that's kind of more or less what it came down to. I think if you're going to be running more of a free to, if you're not running his signature light cone, you have to go like a pure break build. Don't focus on critical stats. It's not that important. While if you're running his signature light cone and you're very hardcore committed, you definitely want to run the critical damage build. It's going to be the better option, but keep in mind that the damage is going to be very minute and it's, it's okay to just run a pure break effect and speed build and not even focus on a critical at all. So keep that in mind. But if you have any questions for me or anything you want to see change, let me know in the comments down be below. I'm going to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.